Meghan Markle is expected to take one year off royal duties after she welcomes her first child with Prince Harry in late April, royal expert Russell Myers claimed. Meghan Markle could cut down public engagements for a whole year after she delivers her first child in late April. Royal expert Russell Myers suggested Meghan will carry on with her duties up until a few days before she is expected to give birth to then spend time with her child and husband Prince Harry away from the public eye. The Duchess of Sussex confirmed this week the royal baby is due to arrive in late April or early May despite royal tradition dictating no official updates are provided on the progress of pregnancy. Speaking to ITV, Mr. Myers said, we're going to see her doing loads of engagement right up until she has the baby. She might take six months, she might take a year off so this is her first foray into doing her patronages, a solid raft of engagements. She'll carry on. How long Meghan chooses to take for maternity leave depends on her personal choice, as there is no set rules for royal women on maternity leave. ITV royal editor Chris Shipp suggested Meghan's decision to keep up with her royal duties while six months pregnant is a sign the former American actress doesn't want to hang about. Mr. Shipp said the Duchess was asked whether she would have preferred to postpone a visit to Birkenhead, Merseyside, but she had declined. He said, Frank Field, who organized the meeting, said maybe we should meet after the baby, and she said to him no, we'll do it before. I think it feeds into that narrative that she wants to get stuff done quickly and doesn't want to hand about. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, took the longest maternity leave in recent years after the birth of her third child, Prince Louis. The Duchess stopped attending public engagements in March and resumed her duties five months after the birth of the prince in April. Kate resumed her public role less than a month after the birth of her first son, Prince George in 2013 and took four months off after delivering her daughter, Princess Charlotte. But according to historian Robert Lacey, Queen Elizabeth established the record of longest leave to enjoy her second family when she had sons Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. Mr. Lacey in 2018 said, early in the 1960s, Her Majesty decided that she had done her duty by her country and took the best part of 18 months off work to produce and enjoy her second family, the young princes Andrew and Edward, born in 1960 and 1964 respectively. Meghan and Prince Harry are reportedly well on their way to decorating the nursery for their first child. The royal couple admitted to not wanting to find out the sex of the child and opting to decorate with a modern and neutral style. Royal expert Katie Nichol said, According to sources who are helping with their new home renovations, the nursery itself is going to be very modern. Don't expect to see any baby pink or baby blue. Apparently it's going to be a monochrome palette, white and grays, I'm told, will be the color theme for baby Sussex's nursery.